Mmm, fresh kale greens. Kale is a nutrition superstar and is high in minerals and vitamins and rich in antioxidants. Today we are going to talk about growing and using kale in some of the great varieties. Kale is very productive and very hardy. I often grow it like a green, but it's in the brassica family along with cabbage and broccoli. Thomas Jefferson was famous, well, for being president, but also for his work in agriculture. He wrote several papers on growing kale. Kale is fabulous for extending the season. Here I have red boar and Siberian kale, as well as red cabbage under some row cover that I planted in early spring. Kale's ideal growing temperature is 55 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Kale will tolerate frost and light snow. It'll die back when temps get below 32 degrees Fahrenheit consistently. Providing a heavy layer of straw mulch around plants will help extend your season. Lacentino kale, also known as dinosaur kale, is very productive, but for me, they have been more prone to insects than any other varieties. They have a nice nutty flavor. Black Magic is a good variety and takes 65 days to harvest. Dinosaur kale gets pretty tall at 2 to 3 feet high. Red Boar has red stems and a peppery sweet flavor. It holds up well in cooking. This is my favorite kale, Red Russian. It has a sweet flavor with delicate leaves that work well in salads and is very easy to grow. It also grows quickly, and I often plant it with cutting lettuces for salads. It takes 29 days for baby and 45 days for full size. Start kale seeds four to six weeks before your last frost. For zone 6B, I start seeds indoors around March 1st since I plant them out under row cover. For my son's garden in Zone 5A, we started seeding kale at the end of March. Kale likes rich soil, so lots of compost. Some bone meal is also good as they like calcium. And green sand will add nutrients and loosen up clay soil. I fertilize with fish emulsion when I transplant. Kale is pretty flexible when it comes to pH levels, 6 to 7.5. You can also direct seed in early spring or late summer. They need a minimum germination soil temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but will take longer to germinate when it's colder. Sow seeds a half an inch deep. Plant in full sun and water in well. Have at least three to four plants per household member. If you are planting for leaf harvest or for baby kale, you can plant much closer together. For full-size kale, plant 12 inches apart in rows 18 inches apart. Mulching is great for conserving water and in the fall can help protect plants from frost. So I took this picture on March 23 of kale transplants going in. You can see the wire hoops and row cover in the background. These were used to cover the kale and protect it from spring frosts. Check out my books on Amazon, and I have them linked in the description. Kick the Grocery Store Goodbye is all about building a productive, self-sufficient garden. Smaller varieties of kale do very well in containers. Here's my favorite, Red Russian growing. Also, Dwarf Siberian and Dwarf Blue are great in small spaces. Kale has deep roots, so will appreciate a raised bed at least 8 inches deep. I grow kale and lettuce all year long in my, on my kitchen counter and have a video on this. Kale does well with other crops. I like to plant it with lettuce. However, remember, as far as rotation, it is a brassica. In early fall, plant Lacentino kale in an unheated greenhouse or hoop house. Another good winter variety is winter boar. 
It'll keep growing till the nights get consistently below freezing. Those curly leaves can attract bugs who think it's a good hiding place. Both aphids and whitefly go after kale. Soapy water and a good squirt from the hose works well. Neem is great for a bad infect infestation. Flea beetles love kale. Check out my video on dealing with them. Tiger moth caterpillars may be seen on kale plants. They do not do near the damage as the white cabbage moths. The tiger moth actually converts alkaloids from host plants into toxins, so many birds will not eat them. They need to be hand-picked when they are this caterpillar's size. But wear gloves because some species can irritate your skin. If you are in the UK, some species of this moth are protected because they are also very good pollinators. Harvest kale leaves when they reach the size you desire. Hot weather will cause kale to bolt just like broccoli and form flower heads. The leaf quality goes down and they start to develop a bitter flavor. Kale is very nutritious. One cup of kale provides more vitamin C than a glass of orange juice, more calcium than a cup of milk, more potassium than a banana, and per calorie more iron than a steak. Kale may be used in textured salads, steamed or braised as a side dish, mixed in omelets, lasagna and stews, and made into chips. Kale chips make a fun snack for kids. And a kale smoothie makes a good jump start to your day. I hope this video has been helpful. Please give it a thumbs up as I am trying to grow the channel and your thumbs up helps a lot. Check out my Brassica playlist for more great videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.